What's up, Pack Nation? This is your boy OG back with another tutorial. First off, I just want to say if you hear a little static noise in the background, that is my fan. It is like 150 degrees in my house right now. I think the AC broke. We're getting that looked at as we speak. So don't mind that in the background. And secondly, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe for more OG tips and just to help my channel grow. So let's get back into it. So I'm here helping you guys to improve your guys running game. A lot of you guys out there can pass the ball real good. But that makes you one dimensional if you cannot run the ball. So we are here today helping you guys out improve your running game. All right. So if you want to improve your running, if you want to be great a dual threat at passing and running the ball, go ahead and stay tuned to this video. So what we're about to do here is I'm about to get the Carolina Panthers for defense. They have a great run stuff in defense. And I'm about to get the new sensation Todd Gurley to show you guys that this game could be about running too if you know how to do it. I'm going to put it on all pro because all Madden be cheating. Let's, let's, come to all that. let's come to the fact. Madden be cheating, bro. All Madden be cheating. I don't need that cheese in my life. So let's go. So before we even get started, I know you guys are sitting here thinking I'm going to give you a cheese play to make you run 70, 80 yards every time, but that is just not true. It is not possible in this game. Every run can be stopped, but you got to have the right mentality to make every run count, all right? So right now, I'm going to show you guys play types you guys can use so you guys can have an efficient running game. So outside handoff is what you guys should be going at or pitch, all right? Because the outside guy, it sets your linemen. Most of the time, your, your linemen are pulling. You got a fullback with you. You got a tight end on that side. That's what you want to go with or some inside runs, all right? You got to be creative. Mix it up. HB stretch, RB stretch. The stretch in general is one of the best plays to run the ball in this game. So right now, I'm just going to put it on random. No need to do all that. So here's another thing. If you see red like this right here, do not run the ball. Make sure you switch it into the green area. Green is go, go, go. Red is no, 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 okay? So never run it in the red area. Always make sure you run it in the green area. And sometimes the whole thing will be red. You do not want to run the ball. Your odds are slim to none. This means that if you see Reds, that means they have enough defensive players on that side to stop the run. You want to make sure you never run in the red. All right, guys. There are three main reasons why you fail at running the ball. Number one is patience or lack of it. A lot of you guys do not have patience to wait for your blockers to set up. You just run straight past everybody and just try to keep the edge or get to the edge faster than everybody else. That is not how you run the football. Number two is you're not looking for the holes. You guys are just trying to hit that edge so fast, as fast as possible that you're not even looking at a hole that's right in front of you, that's right up the middle. You're just trying to hit the edge as fast as you can because as we know in Madden, the edge gets you touchdowns, toss plays, stuff like that. Number three, we all fall victim to this some type of way. We overuse the turbo button. So in the last couple of Maddens, the turbo button is what it says. It's only a turbo. It's not speed. Back in the day, it used to be speed, but now it's a turbo. So we only use the turbo button if we want an extra boost. All right, and taking your finger off the turbo button or the trigger or R2, whatever you call it, it allows your man to have more precise cuts without even holding the left trigger. It also allows you to move and change paces and change directions a lot quicker. All right, so as you're going to see on the screen, you're going to see a lot of correct ways and a lot of wrong ways to run a lot of you guys are running the wrong way and not even like paying attention to blocking to defenders and stuff like that and hopefully this video can spark something or wake up something in your head that football and the running game is a game of patience 
and reading and reacting. The whole game of football is reading and reacting. So is the running game. A lot of us always try to set the edge, get to the edge as fast as we possibly can because quote unquote and Madden, that's how you score a rushing touchdown is toss plays and sweeps. But that is not particularly true. It's all about reading and reacting, all right? So at the end of this video, you will see game footage, game clips of me just running, wreaking havoc in the running game, man. I love to run the ball, man. It's just so much fun. It just Hopefully this video helps you out because a lot of people come out and passing defensive formations, they run out, they come out and dime this, nickel that, penny this, quarter that, you know what I mean? And we just need to abuse that pass defensive formation by running the ball efficiently, all right? So this video is coming to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this did improve your your running back skills, man. Hopefully it did. But practice makes perfect. So some of the cuts you see on here, I know you can be like, oh, gee, I can't do that cut. Well, get into the practice mode and practice. Practice hitting these holes. Put it on all pro. I know at first it's going to be stressful, but once you get it down, you're going to be able to cut back, juke folks, and just have fun in the running game. So this is your boy OG. Like, comment, and subscribe for more tips like this. And I'm out. Peace. I was running through the six with my hoes. I was running through the six with my hoes. I was running through the six with my hoes. I was running through the six Let's go, baby. Stay up. Yeah, oh, let's go. Touchdown. To the house.